Hey YouTube, it's your boy Technic, and today we're talking DJI Mavic Air 2. And I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about what I know on how we can hack this thing to do a couple things that you normally couldn't do and unlock a couple of cool bonus features. Stay tuned, we're going to get nitty and gritty on the computer and see what we can do to unlock some hidden potential. So first thing you're going to need is a DJI Mavic Air 2 drone with a battery that is fully charged. Also the USB-C cable that came with it, you will insert that into that port there and then you will plug it into a Windows based computer or laptop and then we will hop over there and see what we need to do to get the software up and running. So let's go on over there right now and check it out. Alright guys, so we're here, we're sitting on our desktop, we're gonna fire up Chrome and that is all we have to do for the most part. Let's get it going. I'll show you here. You got my desktop. You can see my desktop right here. Cool. So basically what we're doing is we're opening up our browser. We're going to google.com, google.ca, whatever floats your boat. So now once you do that, you just type drone-hacks. If you could type right like me. And then you go .com, which is by Think Awesome. And this is this is the site. This is the site I've used, and this is what I'm gonna show you. Basically, we go to download. You click download. You go here, and now you can actually run it on Mac, Linux, Windows, or all of them. So I did tell you earlier that you need a Windows-based computer, and that's only to follow along with me. You can tempt it with other versions. It's just they're a lot more complicated, and I may get into those ways if people are interested. Because I do know how to install them on each of those. It's just, it's best and easiest on Windows. So we're going to click Windows. We're going to download the software. And it's as simple as that so far. That's all we got to do. Download the software. Cool. So now it's going to download. And now you, you might think it's unsafe or whatever. But there's no, I don't know. I, I don't see any issue. I have pretty good antivirus protection and I don't see any issues with this program and it's obviously a hacking a drone application so take that with a grain of salt. But it's not doing anything that it really shouldn't. So bang, we're going to open that program now and now we have it open. I have two copies of it open. But normally you would think, oh no, I have to um, get an email or a password or buy something, right? But no, you do not have to yet. A lot of people may be confused at this point thinking, oh no, I need to go buy a license key. No, what you need to do is just go get your Mavic Air 2, put the battery in, plug it into the USB port, and you're good to go. So basically, I'm going to do that right now to show you guys it connecting and how we can get into there, and then we'll go on to the next step. Alrighty, so now we have our Mavic Air ready here, and I'm going to power it up. And you're going to hear that iconic noise as it powers up. There we go. Just got to hit it the right couple times here, sometimes to get it to work. And there we go, it's on. So now what I'm going to do is, if I can just kind of get my bearings right here. I got to open the little handy dandy port here. Which is actually sometimes a pain. So sometimes it's best to use a lead tipped pencil. That's what I find is a good tip for that. And then we're going to plug it in. And now... The system is going to detect it. And now, hopefully, it should detect it right away. You should see that it's detected right away. But in fact, I actually don't have it plugged in to the right system as of this moment. I just got to plug one cable in, and then we will be good to go.
Okay, now we have the proper plug plugged in. Make sure you plug it in the right USB port and such, right? Okay, so now it is detected. Now you can see here, device, DJI Mavic Air 2, firmware, blah, blah. Now, we know it's a DJI Air 2 now, and we see that we have one of the more later firmware. So basically, it's telling you, you can manually hack your drone parameters for performance boosts, etc. Shared your hack parameter file with others in the community. And that's basically what we're here for is to mess with that so we can click here and see hacks and flash firmware and you will see that there's really nothing you can do except download possible firmwares and load firmware but yours is firmware locked as you see you have an anti rollback value one meaning you're not going to be able to roll your firmware back but that's okay because at this current firmware which mine is current up to date as of probably at least a week or two ago for sure and these are the settings that you get with that firmware so it's really not so bad you get sport mode parameter and normal parameter these are parameters that I don't really care for much but in our third video we may get into detail what they are some of them are quite obvious and yes so basically now that we have the drone connected that is the basis of that and the, basically what that's going to allow you to do is go into an advanced parameters, which we're going to discuss in the next two videos, the details of these and how to properly write your changes, test your changes, and what individual settings do what. Because there's a lot of settings here, and they do a lot of different things. So you can adjust your, you know, is your device locked, is it, you know, like, I don't... <laughs> There's so many different things. You can adjust how high it goes off the ground, what sensors are on, uh, offsets on GPS, basically addy mode, compass, directions, motor, gyro, speeds. You can definitely tweak some things. So we're going to get in touch with the next few videos. And I'll show you guys exactly what there is we can really do with this thing. And that concludes this part. There you have it. That is the DJI Mavic Air 2 hacking tutorial. And we're just getting started, ladies and gentlemen. We got part two where we're going to discuss how to save, import, export, and test our changes to make sure that they're sticking every time we reboot the system. And in our third video, we'll be discussing the parameters individually. We'll be able to go into detail and see what each of those parameters do so that we'll be able to fully unlock all the hidden features that this drone possesses. Thank you very much, and check the next video. Be sure to sub, be sure to like, and it's your boy, Big Technic. Appreciate the love, and have yourself a great day.